Hi. In this video, we are going to be discussing short circuiting and how it relates to runtime errors. In order to understand short circuiting, let's first take a look at two Boolean operators. The AND AND operator means AND, such that both sides of the condition must be true. The OR OR operator means OR, such that only one side of the condition must be true. In both instances, these operators short circuit, meaning that they don't evaluate the right hand side operand if it isn't necessary. Now, consider this example x equals 0, y equals 3. If x equals equals 0, or x equals equals y, print first case, else print second case. The code would print first case because the statement x equals equals 0 returns true, and in any or or operation, only one side of the condition must be true. In this example, the or or operator short circuits, causing the right hand side operand x equals equals y to not be evaluated. This is because when Java's or or operator encounters this code, it first evaluates x equals equals 0, which we just determined returns true. Then, it realizes that the condition x equals equals 0 or whatever must be true, regardless of what the whatever statement is. Even if whatever is false, the whole condition will still return true. We can generalize this behavior to say that when dealing with the or or operator, true or anything will always be true, and thus the right-hand side operand is not evaluated. Let's take a look at another example. x equals 0, y equals 3. If x equals equals 5, and x times y equals equals 0, print first case, else print second case. In this instance, the code would print second case because the statement x equals equals 5 returns false. And in any and and operation, both sides of the condition must be true. Here, the and and operator also short circuits because it realizes that the condition x equals equals 5 and whatever must be false, regardless of what the whatever statement is. Even if whatever is true, the whole condition will still return false. So, we can generalize this behavior to say that false and anything will always be false, and thus the right-hand side operand is not evaluated. So, why is this concept useful? Well, short-circuiting can be used to prevent runtime errors. For example, x equals 5, y equals 0, if x equals equals 5, or x divided by y equals equals 5, print first case, else print second case. When x equals equals 5 returns true, the or or operator stops evaluation. This is good, because we avoided the operation x divided by y, which would cause a runtime error by dividing by 0. While this is a very simplistic example, short-circuiting is very functional in preventing various runtime errors, such as null pointer exceptions and dividing by zero. To summarize, short-circuiting means not evaluating the right-hand side operand if it isn't necessary. The OR-OR operator can be generalized to short-circuit whenever a condition is true or or anything while the AND AND operator can be generalized to short circuit whenever a condition is false AND AND anything. Finally, with this information, we can prevent runtime errors within our code. Thanks for watching.